Hi, I'm Lindsay from Halifax Public Libraries. Today I'm going to show you how to make fog. Fog is caused by tiny water droplets in the air. You can't see water evaporate, but certain conditions allow water droplets to form around particles in the air, and that's when we see fog. For this experiment, you'll need a bottle, some ice cubes, and I'm going to use a funnel. The first thing you want to do is fill your bottle up with hot water and let it sit there for a minute, just to warm everything up. There are different types of fog, but generally fog is created when two different temperatures collide. Evaporation fog is when cold air moves over a much warmer body of water, which is what we're going to do in our experiment today. Sometimes this is called sea smoke. You may have seen it over Halifax Harbor. Fog can also happen when warm air moves over cold ground. Let's pour out some of our water. Now, I'm going to put the funnel here just so I can put my ice cubes inside. You can see the bottle start to fog up pretty quickly. It might also look like it's raining because the ice is melting from the hot air. But the cold air from the ice is going down into the bottle. But the hot air from the water is trying to rise up out of the bottle. And that's what makes the fog. Fog is sort of like a really low cloud. Both fog and clouds are formed because of water evaporating into the air. Did you know that Nova Scotia is one of the foggiest places in Canada? There's another type of fog called freezing fog. Freezing fog or ice fog is composed of small ice crystals suspended in the air. When water vapor interacts with very cold air, tiny ice crystals are created. Ice fog can only form in very, very cold temperatures. It's very common in places like Alaska or Northern Canada but the temperature often goes below 40 degrees Celsius in the winter. Do you know anyone who lives in northern Alberta or Saskatchewan? I bet they've seen ice fog. Thanks for doing this experiment with me today. I hope you have fun learning with Halifax Public Libraries, and we hope to see you in person again really soon. Bye.